I'm Adam Bilby, head of Southerly's Wine for Asia, and I'm in a very snow-clad Austria in Lech, at restaurant Fuchs, owned by Peter Strolz. Peter Strolz is a very avid wine collector, where we're inspecting a small portion of his cellar that we'll be offering at our autumn sales. My name is Peter Strolz, I'm the owner of Fuchs Restaurant, and I run also a small uh, wine import business for Burgundy and Champagne wines. I found that Fuchs when I was 23, and since then it's gone strong. In 98, I started doing some tastings with guests as well as with some friends. And we started with Bordeaux, we did some Italian wines, but I fell in love with Burgundy and with Champagne. He has an absolute insatiable desire to share wines. But you see it with all the staff as well. All the staff that work at this restaurant have a passion for wine. It's great to see. This is only a portion of his cellar. He realised that, like so many collectors, you are addicted to wine, you love wine, you keep on buying wine, and suddenly, at some point, you look and go, oh, crikey, perhaps I've got a little too much. So I just think that the time is right to perhaps let some of the jewels go. So for us, it's an honour to be able to do all these things. Today we started doing the packaging for the auction in Hong Kong. There's about 3,000 bottles we put on auction and their cellar is about 55,000 bottles. I look at this with many tears in my eyes because some of them are like babies, have been so long in the cellar. Obviously I kept a lot of wine. I'm giving away about 10% of my quantity of my cellar. So there's plenty of wine to discover still. He's tasted a huge broad range and you see it downstairs as well, but it's very much focused on Burgundy, focused on champagnes. The wines we have, first of all, are the best of the best in terms of Burgundy, a small portion of Bordeaux, Champagne, and in Italy as well, we've got great parcels of Massetta de Ornolaia and Sassicaia. These are the reference points, uh, the best. Modern day vintages, contemporary vintages, where the quality now is greater than we've ever seen before. But as well as that, you've got some lesser known producers that people might not know, like Thomas More and other white wine producers that he has a big passion for, he really likes. Of course, I like to bring uh, closer some wines to guests they don't know because this is part of my job, to help them experience something which they afterwards hopefully like. Jacques Ladier from Richardot told me once that the wine tastes different when I hold the glass and swirl it, uh, if you would have, because your energy from the body goes through the wine and through the glass. That's a little bit uh, the story.